In the heart of the wilderness, where the wind carries whispers of time and the earth still breathes freely, a silent force shapes the land, not with machines or tools, but with hooves, instincts, and motion. These are the wild horses, nature's untamed architects. For centuries, they've been seen as symbols of freedom, grace, and raw power. But behind that beauty lies something far greater, an ecological purpose. Every step they take leaves more than a footprint, it leaves balance. Every graze, every drink, every path they carve plays a role in shaping the environment around them. They are the gardeners of the plains, the keepers of the grasslands, and the silent engineers of entire ecosystems. From spreading seeds and reviving vegetation to creating watering holes that sustain countless species, wild horses transform the landscapes they inhabit. But their story is not without conflict. As humans debate their presence and numbers, few realize the quiet harmony they bring to the wild. This is the untold story of how wild horses shape the ecosystems they call home. A story of resilience, renewal, and the intricate bond between freedom and the living earth. Every ecosystem has its gardeners, creatures that shape the land with their daily habits. For wild horses, grazing is more than a means of survival. It's a powerful act of ecological balance, a quiet partnership with the earth itself. Unlike livestock that often overgraze one area, wild horses are wanderers. They move constantly, never lingering too long in a single patch. As they graze, they trim overgrown vegetation, preventing certain grasses from dominating and allowing smaller, more delicate plants to flourish. This simple rhythm of movement keeps the land healthy, diverse, and alive. Their hooves play a vital role too, breaking the hard crust of soil, pressing seeds into the ground, and creating tiny pockets where rainwater collects. With every step, they unknowingly plant the next generation of grasses and flowers. And as they move on, their manure enriches the soil, spreading nutrients and seeds far beyond where they began. It's a cycle as old as time, graze, move, fertilize, renew. In their wandering, wild horses do not strip the land, they sculpt it. Their touch is gentle, their impact profound. Each graze restores balance, ensuring that the plains, valleys, and meadows remain a living tapestry of renewal, a masterpiece painted by the grazer's touch. While many creatures depend on plants, few actually help them thrive the way wild horses do. They are nature's unintentional gardeners, pruning, planting, and fertilizing as they roam. Each movement, each mouthful, and even each hoof print plays a role in maintaining the delicate balance of the ecosystem. When wild horses graze, they don't destroy, they cultivate. By clipping tall grasses and allowing sunlight to reach the soil, they encourage the growth of diverse plant species. What seems like random feeding is actually a form of land management perfected by evolution. Their constant motion ensures no area is overused, giving vegetation time to regenerate naturally. But their influence doesn't stop above the surface. As horses travel long distances, seeds hitch a ride in their coats or pass through their digestive systems. When these seeds fall to the ground, often carried miles away, they sprout in new territories, expanding plant life far beyond its original boundaries. Even their hooves play a surprising role. The pressure of each step breaks hard soil, allowing air and moisture to penetrate deeper. Tiny hoof depressions become miniature planters, trapping rainwater and creating microhabitats for new growth. In the grand cycle of life, wild horses are not merely residents of their environment, they are caretakers. Through every graze and gallop, they nurture the land, tending nature's garden without ever knowing they are its gardeners. In nature, nothing exists in isolation. Every hoofbeat, every blade of grass, every drop of rain connects to something greater, and wild horses are right at the center of this intricate web of life. Their presence ripples through the ecosystem, shaping the survival of countless other species. When horses graze and move, they leave behind rich organic matter, manure teeming with nutrients. This becomes a feast for insects like beetles and flies, which in turn feed birds and small mammals. What begins as waste transforms into nourishment that fuels an entire food chain. Their grazing patterns also influence where other animals live and feed. 
Open patches created by horses become perfect hunting grounds for predators and safe havens for smaller grazers. The trails they carve through tall grass become natural corridors for movement, not just for themselves, but for deer, rabbits, and even predators following their path. At waterholes, wild horses act as ecosystem engineers. Their hooves deepen muddy edges, creating small pools that sustain amphibians, insects, and thirsty wildlife long after the herd moves on. Through their simple, instinctive routines, wild horses connect life above and below the soil, a living thread weaving harmony across the wild. They are not just part of nature's story, they are one of its most vital storytellers. Fire, nature's fiercest force and yet, one of its oldest tools of renewal. In the wild, fire reshapes the land, clearing old growth to make way for the new. And amidst this dramatic cycle, wild horses play an unexpected, crucial role, guiding how the earth heals. When flames fade, horses return sooner than most animals. Their hooves churn the loosened soil, pressing seeds into the fertile layer below the ash. As they graze the tender new shoots that sprout days later, they prevent aggressive plants from taking over, ensuring a balanced regrowth that supports more species in the long run. Their movement across post-fire landscapes also spreads nutrients and seeds, speeding up nature's recovery. In many ecosystems, wild horses act as early pioneers, restoring balance where devastation once reigned. Their grazing and trampling mix ash and soil, a natural tilling process that encourages stronger, more diverse vegetation. Fire may destroy, but horses remind us that from destruction comes renewal. They are nature's silent restorers, turning charred earth into green pastures once again. Through their instinct and resilience, wild horses keep the eternal cycle of fire and regrowth alive, proving that rebirth in nature often begins with the gentle step of a survivor. For centuries, humans have admired wild horses, symbols of power, beauty, and unrestrained freedom. Yet, our relationship with them is tangled in contradiction. We celebrate their strength in art, legend, and spirit, but often struggle to make space for their existence in the real world. As human expansion continues, wild horses face shrinking lands, disrupted migration routes, and competition with livestock for food and water. What was once their endless range has been divided by fences, highways, and settlements. Ironically, the very landscapes they've helped sustain for millennia are now fenced off from the creatures that shaped them. Across deserts and grasslands, debates rage. Are wild horses protectors of the land or competitors for its resources? To ranchers, they sometimes represent overgrazing and loss. To conservationists, they are keystone species, living forces that restore ecosystems naturally, without machines or chemicals. And so, the paradox deepens. We seek to control what we romanticize. We call them wild, yet we number, tag, and manage them. We admire their freedom, yet confine it within our definitions of balance. But the truth is simpler. Wild horses are not intruders. They are reminders. Reminders that the world once moved to a natural rhythm before fences, before politics, before profit. If we truly wish to coexist, we must look beyond ownership and control and learn again what they've always known, that balance isn't enforced, it's lived. The human paradox lies not in their wildness, but in our forgetting of it. They don't need saving from the wild, perhaps we do. Because in their eyes, the wild still exists, and in their freedom lies the reflection of everything we've lost, and everything we could still protect. There's a rhythm to the wild, a balance so ancient that it existed long before human memory. And when wild horses move across the land, that rhythm returns. Step by step, graze by graze, they weave together the threads of harmony that hold ecosystems in place. Across plains, deserts, and mountain valleys, horses don't dominate, they synchronize. Their grazing allows new plants to grow. Their manure feeds insects, which feed birds, which feed the cycle of life. Their hooves aerate the soil, their trails carve paths for water to flow, and their migrations guide the pulse of the wilderness. When humans allow them space to live as they were meant to, unconfined and unmanipulated, something extraordinary happens. The land begins to heal itself. Grasses return. Birds nest again. Streams run clearer. What science calls ecological balance 
Nature simply calls life. In areas where wild horses thrive, biodiversity blossoms. Predators return, prey finds safety, and the entire ecosystem finds a natural equilibrium. The horses are not rulers here. They are partners in the great orchestra of the wild. Each note they create resonating through soil, water, and sky. Their harmony is not forced. It's instinctive, timeless, and self-sustaining. A living example of how life organizes itself when left untouched. Perhaps that's the lesson they offer us. That balance doesn't come from control, but from trust. Trust in the wisdom of nature, in the cycles that have shaped the earth for millions of years. So as wild horses move freely across the land, tails flowing, hearts steady, they remind us that harmony is not something to be built. It's something to be remembered, and something the wild has never forgotten. As the sun dips behind the horizon and the silhouettes of wild horses fade into the golden glow, one truth remains. Everything in nature moves in circles. The horses graze, the grass grows, the soil breathes, and the cycle continues. Unbroken, eternal, perfect. Wild horses are not just survivors of time, they are teachers of balance. Through their quiet presence, they show us how life sustains itself when left in harmony. Every step they take stirs the soil, every mouthful renews the land, and every generation passes on the wisdom of coexistence, without conflict, without excess. They remind us that strength does not always roar. Sometimes, it moves gently across the plains, steady, patient, aware. Their way of life is not domination but contribution, not taking but giving back. In the vast silence of their world, there's a rhythm, the rhythm of respect, of renewal, of connection. We, too, are part of that circle, though we often forget it. Humanity has long tried to separate itself from nature, to control what was never meant to be controlled. Yet, when we look into the eyes of a wild horse, we glimpse something pure, the reflection of a world that thrives through balance, not ownership. So, as their hooves echo across the earth, they carry with them an ancient reminder. Harmony isn't lost, it's waiting. Waiting for us to remember our place in the circle. Because in the end, we are not above nature, we are within it. And when the wild horses run free, the circle of balance runs with them, forever unbroken, forever alive.